For this quick lesson, we're going to cover what the lathe tool is and how exactly we can create, in my idea, a potted plant with this. And when I say that, we're not going to create the plant itself, but we're actually going to create the pot that the plant resides in. So to begin, we know that we want to have a cylinder shape because that is actually how the base of the pot is constructed. So what we can do is we can go to disk, and I can drag out and we can get the base of the disk. So now that we have this into play, we now know that we want to pretty much have something that comes up and maybe flares out a little bit and possibly has a little bit of a lip. So I'm going to escape out of this, and what I want to do is just go to the polyline, and I'm going to activate my snapping and move it to 0.125. And the reason I'm going to do this is because we have a lot more control over what exactly the shape will look like in the end. So I'm just dragging out and doing anything in particular. And then we'll end it there. So this is the shape basically that I want to have, but I know I want it to come outward. So what I can do is go to my vertex, and I can select all of these, and with the one key selected, I can move it out to the side. I can see a little bit of a problem right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off snapping and see what happens. Just leave it as is, and we'll grab the vertice. And then what I'll actually do is maybe move this out a little bit. Move that downward, and we'll move this inward along with this. OK. So now that we have pretty much set exactly what we want with our pot, we can go in, let's escape, go into object mode. And I know that I want to turn on angular snapping because I'm going to turn it upward. So let's go to properties and see where it is. So the rotation is still not exactly what I want. And on the Y, I want to turn this to 90 as well. So now that we have these into place, let's go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. And we'll scale it inward because we don't want it too thick. And what we want to do now is select both of these pieces. And we're going to go to our extrude and delete. And we're going to go to merge. So now we go into tools with lathe. And we're going to select the lathe piece of geometry, which we're going to click on that point, And then we're going to select this piece of geometry and go to that point itself. And clicking this, we now have our pot. So I'm going to escape out of here, and let's go up on this a little bit. I need to make a base, so let's go into here, delete this. And we're going to grab the edge here, holding the control key down. We're going to go into loop, and we're going to go back to our tools, and we're going to select fill. And that's going to bring that edge down. Let's go ahead and select this loop as well. We're going to bring it down just a little bit so we're not clipping the interior. And then we're going to select fill as well. So now we've created our little potted plant. Let's go to groups, the smoothing group, and I'm going to auto smooth it like I usually do. And now we have our auto smooth pot. You can see in the bottom here we actually need to fill this or possibly flip the normals. So let's go ahead and select this. What we want to do is go and flip the polygon. So now we have our base. It was just kind of inverted, so it's not a big deal. Next, I want to go to a disk again. And what I'm going to do is just drag out my disk, and this is going to be the dirt. So pressing Escape, I can go into Object Mode. Let's drag this up. Pull it over just a little bit. Scale it out. Just doing it by eye. Typically, if I was going to do this for myself, I would use snapping the whole time. That'll be fine as it is. Let's see how far we can go down on this. Pretty far. Okay. 
So let's rename this to dirt. And we'll name this one ceramic. And what we want to do now is probably shrink these down. We'll wait until I actually get it all together. We'll group it. So I'm going to go to brush. I'm going to go to assets, objects. Let's go into natural. Let's go to bushes. And we'll get the interior plants. And let's see. Let's select this one. I'm going to make sure that I have snapping on. Turn off my angular snapping. And I'm going to drag this in. And then I'm going to click Control and Shift and snap it to that surface. Then I'll make it a little bit bigger so we can kind of bring it down a little bit later. To better see this, I'm going to go to my level editor, level settings. I'm going to activate my global illumination. So now we can see the shadowing properly. Now let's go to our material editor. And I'm going to dock this to the right as well. So with this, we know that we want to get ceramic. So let's go ahead and choose generic. And what could we do to actually get that? I'm not sure if I can search for ceramic. Is there anything? Nope. I know inside of my objects and PBS reference, there's actually a stucco and there is a mixed glazed clay. Let's see how that works. It's a little bit too much. We could possibly go down into the tiling, and we can change it to maybe 0.5. And then we want to offset the vertical by negative 0.1. So for the moment, I'm just going to leave it like that, because it's the closest thing to ceramic that I can find. I don't want to stretch out the video. And then on the materials, what we can do is go to generic, could choose What's the inside wall look like? Large brick, stone wall, mossy. We'll just use mud. That'll work. Okay. So selecting that, you can make the mud. Then I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to level, group. I'm going to call this one potted plant. And with them grouped together, we can shrink this back down to an accurate size. And the last little tip that I'll do before ending this. So we'll snap it to the surface. And what you can do to kind of accurately see what size the plant is, because I imagine this is quite large. We can go to our characters. We'll go to an entity, actually, because they're already set up properly. So that would be the size of a character, and that plant's still kind of big. This is how you could get an accurate size on how big your plant should be. And pretty much you can do anything in here as far as working and creating geometry. And just like that, you've created a potted plant. And you could basically use the lathe to create crown molding or maybe some trim inside of a house as well. So the lathe tool is very, very powerful in how you use it. You just need to make sure that you go through the proper steps of creating the profile and then creating the path through, say, the disk shape that I created. And it, you can just go in and customize the vertices beforehand. But once it's committed, you need to make sure that you tweak it. You can flip the, the polys because the normals might be inverted. And then also being able to fill the geometry to have a true bottom like I did on this potted plant.